Okay, so in this question we have a differential equation dp by dt equals kp. p is the population, k is a positive constant, and t is the time. In order to solve this, what you've got to do is separate the variables. That is, put all p's on one side and all t's on the other. If I do that, okay, what we'll have is 1 over p dp equals k dt and I need to integrate both sides so as I say rearranging this gives this situation. What I've got to do now is integrate 1 over p with respect to p and that will be the natural log of p. Normally I put natural logs in mod signs but P we know is positive because it's the population, so I don't have to put this in mods. Equals, on the other side, integrating k with respect to t, k is a constant, so you get kt. And don't forget that constant of integration, plus c. Okay, we've got to work out what C is, and we use the conditions that are given. We're told that the initial population is PO. So in other words, when T is naught, which is the initial time, we're told that P equals PO. And so I can substitute that up into this equation. So we'll call that 1, and we'll say sub into 1, sub into 1, and if we do that we've got natural log of PO, okay, equals K times 0 plus C. K times 0 is 0, so that means that C is equal to the natural log of PO. So I sub that back into 1, sub into 1, okay, and what we have now is the natural log of P is equal to K times T plus C, and C is the natural log then of PO. And we've got to solve this, rearranging it, giving P in terms of PO, K and T. Now we have a log equation, and when you have log equations, you've got to reduce them down to two terms. Here we've got three terms, okay? And to reduce this to two terms, I've got to bring the logs to one side. So I would have the natural log of P minus the natural log of PO equals KT. What I'll do is I'll carry on down here. Okay, so we can keep it on the one sheet. Now we use the log rule, okay, that when you subtract logs, we would group them together as the natural log of P over PO, all right, equals KT. So that's the division rule for natural logs. And what I've done now is reduce my natural log equation down to two terms, one term here and one term there. When you get to that stage, you next anti-log, okay? So anti-logging this gives P over P0 equals E to the KT. I'm nearly there now. All I've got to do is multiply both sides by PO and we have P equals the constant PO multiplied by e to the kt. And that brings us then to the end of part A.